Green, it says our last update of the grain and livestock trade for this Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining us for all or part of our Market Day report. Whether watching RFD TV, tuning in on Sirius XM, Channel 147. A lower trade here now as we head to the finish line here, another half an hour or so of trade. But we are at or near lows of the day. Let's go to corn and see uh, down to five to six cents here now. September is right at a penny away from the low of the day, 336. December new crop down six at 342 and a half. That's about a penny from their low of the day. We take a look at and then the uh, weekly ethanol report, by the way, let's go kind of take a half step back if, before we get to soybeans. And if you've not seen numbers that are historic today, uh, the uh, for the week ending last Friday, we had over a million barrels per day produced. That's the highest ever. Uh, beat a number that was over a million in early June, but we surpassed that in the report a couple of hours ago go from the ethanol industry. Looking at that uh, four week average here, right at a million barrels per day. Uh, and that also is a new record, all time record. Soybean or the ethanol stocks rather, 21.2 million, pretty well steady with the number here from a week ago. So uh, historic numbers today as far as the ethanol report is concerned. All right, let's go to the, the uh, soybean futures and take a look at what's going on there. A lower corn trade here. Soybeans uh, were higher for a time. Uh, let's get to August, for example, up to a high today at 10.56 and a quarter. Currently, we are 10.29. That is... Uh, four cents from the low of the day, down 15 cents now. No, August down 15 cents, 10.29 a bushel. The November new crop down 16 and three quarters at 10.11 a bushel. Let's go to Chicago and uh, check in with our good friend Todd Horwitz here, taking a look at this grain trade under pressure here uh, as we work to the finish line today. Todd didn't start that way, but sellers are right there again. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mark, and uh, you know, Mama said there's gonna be days like this, and, yeah. and this is one of those days. I mean, you know, we've been looking for some lower prices. I, I, I've been friendly corn and wheat and, and looking for $10 in November beans, and we got the 1004 here. I think that's the right spot, and I, I think now is, a, is a, a real good spot to start to look to. If you're a trader or you're looking to buy, this is a, now an opportunity. I think you're starting to see a lot of shorts are starting to show up, trying to push them down to bottoms. But as I look at it, the first one I'd be looking to buy right now would be, I'd be, we actually be, would be wheat here. I think that's had a, a nice little blow off, and we've already seen in the last 20 or 30 minutes about a four or five cent rally back in wheat for, in December, back from down about 11 to down about six right before I came on air here. I think beans at ten dollars i want to watch the action but i'm definitely looking to get in there and i think corn in here somewhere is the right area to step in so now i think we've reached all the downside objectives that i was looking for and i think now with the additional shorts now trying to come into this market i think it gives us a perfect reason to believe that we're going to now start to turn around and we should start to see some steady rally going upwards sir and so producers that are tuning in here uh you like what you see here and you think that this market can indeed end the year stronger than we are now am i correct Oh, you're 100% correct. I mean, you know, I'm putting my own money to work there. So, yes, I do believe that we're going to see better markets here. I think based on the technical patterns we look at, again, it's never going to be easy. And you've got to be able to take some of the punishment like today. But overall, the, the levels that I'm seeing here and where I want to be, these are places that I want to take an entry into these markets because I believe we're going to have a much better season. You're, you're getting a lot of outside interference today. You've got a higher dollar. But you've got the equity market as well that is getting so much money poured into it that they're ignoring everything else. They don't. No. Nothing else matters right now. All that matters is equity. So I think we'll see that come back the other way pretty soon, which will create help create a rally for us. Todd Horwitz, uh, Bubba Trading. It's BubbaTrading.com, the website, uh, joining me earlier today on our Commodity Wrap on uh, Sirius XM. But he's not done with us. We'll back in one minute. We'll talk about the livestock trade as we continue. Be right back.